The Death to Del Deep by Wrote Writer. Chapter 47 The Seats He heads back to Castle Island to wait for the boat to come and pick him up. The group of emissaries from the Emerald Isle are also are there also, waiting. They're intoxicated, having quite obviously spent the early evening in a pub drinking. Some of them are really drunk. One woman in particular is frighteningly drunk, so much so that Rhode is again dismayed. How drunk and proud people will allow themselves to be. He's had his fair share of drinking in his life, but this is not one of them. And the sight of one of them, one of the Irish lassies, nearly causing bodily harm to her being several times over with a frequent falling down, definitely disturbs the dry sod. The lot remind him of how bad news is. Add bullets, culture seems to be. Back on Castle Island, Rogue converses with those that can and distances himself from those that can't eventually leaving them all in their deteriorating states to get some sleep. The third morning there, Rhoda wakes with his sights set on the remainder of the seats and something else that bodes him. Along with the seats, there are a few other places interesting to Rhoda, relative to the realm of the Maguires. One in particular is for a scene on the ride in from Belfast and Skillet. On that initial bus ride, he passes by a gathering of clouds, hovering on, t- on top of a ridge rimmed right with rancor. A murder of crows cawing over a coven of dead trees like banshees. Then he turns his head, twisting his neck in hopes to hold that netherworld in view, vanquished as the bus barrels on by the foreboding place. Rope makes a mental note to hike back to that hag-ridden hill sometime in the coming days. He feels a foreshadowed fate about to befall her, the White Lady. Like learning where the sacred seats are, Boat also learns about Lady Maguire. He likens her to Lady Macbeth, in so much as in the lore of Lenore. Poe's portrait, for she has a similar effect on the Maguire kingdom as Lady Macbeth does on the Shakespeare, Shakespeare's make on the play Macbeth, and having already passed by Macbeth main stage Scotland, where the reigns of that realm met therein and therein, he thinks, why not? He remembers what they brought up, the three witches and Lady Macbeth. He learns Lady Maguire had, has a similar story and effect on the Maguire realm. Her fate is met at the end of a rope, hung on a hill from a tree amidst a field of blackbirds. For what, Rote doesn't know. All he has to go on are the cryptic clues. Rote remembers what he sees through the fog of the window on the on the coach ride into es- Enniskillen. He sees on top of the hill like ridge amidst the drizzle fall and just before dusk in the field a gathering of blackbirds. The only lead he has on where Lady McGuire is hung, held in her swan song, for her favorite haunt in life is the field of blackbirds. If Rote connects correctly, the field that he faintly flirts with may be the field of lore, like Edgar Allan Poe's poem The Raven, where he longs for Lenore, though bothered by the raven, and evermore. He's sure there's something to be to see up there. One thing for sure, he already feels an unearth.